Did you know that everything is made of chemicals? And chemicals can react to form new chemicals. <laughs> the TV show, Bill Nye the Science Guy, helped many kids get interested in science in the 1990s. Now he's working to inspire the next generation of scientists with a new book, Bill Nye's Great Big World of Science, which covers everything from atoms to astrophysics and includes dozens of do-it-yourself experiments to try at home. He's going to try one for us in a minute. Bill joins us from Los Angeles. Good morning, Bill. Thanks for being with us. Uh, I want to warn you in advance. They good morning, the, good morning. I want to warn you in advance. They picked the guy who flunked seventh grade science to lead this segment. So this book is like perfect for me. It's about my speed. L let, me st let me begin at the end because one of the things you say to everybody on your way out of this book is it's really important to stay curious. How do you do that? How do you not, people? <laughs> What's more exciting than the world around us? My goodness. Now, everybody is curious. Just what, what we want is everybody to be at some level scientifically literate so that we can make good decisions as a society, uh, because science is, what, science is what has enabled this amazing uh, video call here in the, in the morning on a Monday. And so it's, and science isn't a thing uh, that does stuff, humans do things, scientists, engineers. So, do things and the taxpayers and voters that support the research. So a lot of a lot of kids obviously are stuck at home right now and and parents are looking for a way to keep them engaged and curious as you're talking about there you are uh, actually watching you get ready for this segment was fascinating Bill but you have an experiment about ocean currents <laughs> that we can, that parents can do with their kids right at home take us through this. Oh sure well this is uh, this is a classic switch is so we all depend on the ocean. If you, you live in New York, there are about um, uh, uh, half, at least half of the uh, air you breathe comes from the ocean. More like in New York, Florida, it's more like two thirds. A tablespoon of salt into a cup of water. I'm using English units just to help you all out. My goodness. <laughs> it's 35 parts per million. So. Uh, anyways, mix it up. It is hard to believe at first, but ocean water is has this much salt in it. Yeah, that really and, uh, shocked if you've me, ever Bill. Swum in the ocean. Yeah. yeah, no, well, it's not my, it wasn't my idea. No, <laughs> so, anyway, uh, the uh, ocean water, you know, when I was a kid, it wasn't clear how the ocean kept the same salinity, but it turns out it has to do with the uh, hydrothermal vents. Then, uh, uh, beautiful blue food coloring. Yeah. You don't need blue, but we all associate blue with the ocean. So a few drops, stir it up. Now here's right. the thing. We all depend on the ocean for our oxygen. We all depend on the ocean uh, for the food, for much of the food we eat, either directly or indirectly. And the key to living things in the ocean is circulation. The ocean has currents. They're always moving. It sort of essentially fertilizes the ecosystem. Right. So how does, what causes the ocean to move around? Well, a lot of it is this nature of salt uh, and fresh water. So here's a tray of fresh water. We will bring the camera because in the COVID world, we can just grab the camera, bring her on down. And there we are. And uh, I pour the salt water down the straw. It just, the straw just helps guide it into the uh, uh, brownie dish or baking dish. Now, if you look, you can see the salt water stays at the bottom. Wow. It doesn't mix very fast. I mean, it's just, when you think about it, you mix in all that salt. Well, I guess so. Of course it would stay on the bottom. Of course it would. No, but this has an enormous effect on you and me because this is what enables us to breathe. <laughs> If you live in the heartland, if you live in Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, about a third of the oxygen you breathe comes from the sea. If you live in Florida, it's most of it. So uh, what happens is the sun evaporates yep. the ocean surface and the salt remains. Also in the book is uh, I let some of this water dry out yesterday. Yeah. And uh, it leaves the salt and the blue food coloring behind. This saucer, by the way, is from South Africa. Bill? But it I got, worked anyway. i got to interrupt you. Bill, the book is full of fascinating stuff like that. Thank, this was a really interesting experiment. Thanks for being with us. Bill Nye's Great Big World of Science goes on sale tomorrow.